you kind of froze. So both Belinda and I were like. <laughs> <laughs> we were just mimicking how your 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 screen froze. But anyway, over to you. He says that she freezes again. Uh -huh. Now you guys are really frozen on my screen. Okay, <laughs> anyway. So um so yeah, welcome back to Roots and Resilience. Um, okay, maybe it's better like this. Welcome back to Roots and Resilience. Can you guys hear me okay? Cool. Okay, so to close this lovely evening, we often check in with what we're harvesting. Now is especially nice time to do that. It's like the days of the autumn equinox. So we have the harvest full moon, which has been bright in the sky the last couple of days. And it's traditionally a time where we're bringing in the harvest and yeah, sharing our gratitude for all the abundance that we've had in the summer. Um, so yeah, harvesting from your garden or around locally, what's been growing, what's been, yeah, particularly abundant for you and maybe any anything you're doing with it. So we've got about like 20 minutes. So yeah, it's time for everyone to kind of share something. So anyone like to begin? Yeah, I could begin. Would you like to begin, Susan, from your garden? Yeah, I might have to disappear okay. there. Um, right, well, we've, where, we live, where we've got the garden, we had no plants in the garden, so we've all eaten, but we did a lovely walk and we found pounds and pounds of plums. Um, so I've, I've had lots of those. Um, squash in the garden and a few beans and lots of wild blackberries in the garden and around. So it's, it's, been, it's been good. Yeah. And we, we were able to share the abundance of the plums, which nobody seemed to know they were there. Um, going out of singing nettles by the bank of the river. Um, so we've managed to sort of make things and give lots away and make fruit levers. So it's quite exciting. So I, I will not no longer worry about the fact that the birds and everything eat, eat ours in the garden. Uh, that's it really. Okay. Maybe I'll, I can facilitate while Sophie's struggling with the internet. So wonderful. Yeah, plums. Um, yeah, it's amazing how, you know, there's so many different types of plum trees and how, you know, there's such a really lovely long season for plums at different times of the year. And, uh, and now, yeah, we also literally just uh, earlier today, we, no, yesterday, we harvested yeah, the last of the plums that were coming out in our local parks and things. So wonderful. So yes, yeah, so help. Who else has been harvesting from their garden or wild harvesting? And what are you finding? Who else? Marianne. I'm harvesting seeds. <laughs> uh huh. What kind of yeah, seeds? Yeah, um, beans. Mm hmm. Uh, to multiply them because it's a ra rare varieties I got and so I plant them this year to have more so next year I, I will plant them again and so next year I, uh, I will have plenty and can share them with uh, friends and also uh, cook up some of them to to eat for food of course and yeah and so on yeah after years and also uh, right now i'm harvest i'm harvesting sunflower seeds uh, and i keep them for birds during winter ah lovely wonderful so mostly seeds and beans and things beautiful 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 what else? Who else is harvesting stuff? Go on, Marta. 
make us all jealous tell us about your papayas and your mangoes and your all your amazing things that we can only dream of having here. <laughs> that's funny because i well we actually summer is kind of like a winter for us it's really really dry and hot so we don't really harvest but this is the time when we're planting everything so i actually uh have been planting a lot of trees um a lot of tr trees that we um it was a very heavy frost um that happens every 30 years and took a lot of our mangoes and Papaya, so I'm planting a lot of papayas, mangoes, mame, spinach trees, uh, cassava, um, asparagus, just a lot of planting season. So don't have harvest, but I will share the harvest <laughs> and at the end of the year, probably. Wow, amazing. Beautiful. Who else is, is harvesting some stuff? Belinda. Uh, well, I'm pleased to say that my nasturtiums in the garden by the shed have kind of started taking off because so I love nasturtiums and flowers. We'll go and take the torch out in a bit <laughs> and go and get some. Um, and at the allotment, we've been getting a lot of beans, lots of runner beans. The French beans are just about finished. And there's some nice apples now. They're, they're really nice, really crisp and uh, just, you know, yummy. And the squashes as well, we've, we've started collecting them. Cool, 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 cool. So from my garden, let's think, what am I, let's think, I come out of my back door, first thing I harvest, raspberries. Still getting hundreds of raspberries um, there, yeah. And there's still plenty more for a little while longer um then as i go a little bit deeper then i've got still loads and loads and loads of greens so we've got all the sorrels and the uh, my taunting dean kale we've got um let's go a bit deeper we've got the very last few japanese wine berries but really very very few left um the strawberries have started to put on new flowers again. So maybe we'll get another crop of strawberries this year. Um, I planted a few tomatoes, so I'm harvesting those. There's these um, kind of yellow, they look like kind of pear or bottle gourd. Well, yeah, bottle gourd kind of shaped, little tiny little uh things like that they're, they're very nice very sweet um we have lots of blackberries growing everywhere um they're really yeah do, done had a really good harvest this year very very nice very sweet very juicy um what else is the Szechuan pepper. I've been harvesting a lot of the leaves, and now they're starting to draw the, the actual peppercorns. I've picked a lot of, I picked a couple of jars of green Szechuan peppers. Actually, it's a Nepalese pepper that I've actually got, uh, but most people know Szechuan pepper. And so, but now they're starting to ripen on the tree itself. So, yeah, now's the time to start picking those. Right next to that is the, the figs but the figs aren't quite ready yet there's still a little bit of time to go for there and next to that are the goji berries which are they're still green but there's maybe another month and they'll start to, to ripen and there's a big 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 crop of gojis on the way um what else what else what else we've got different types of chard so the kind of rainbow chards they're still doing well this year um we have lots of fennel seeds and fennel flowers they're really delicious uh chenopodum album fat hen is quite is doing nicely um what else what else what else uh yeah, the nasturtiums really weirdly, almost none throughout the year, but now all of a sudden they've just 
started uh, really popping up and taking over. The Jerusalem artichokes, I've got some Jerusalem artichokes that are over three meters tall. And, um, and my suspicion is I could probably start digging those up now as well, if I wanted to. And I think in a couple of areas, I might start digging them up in the next few days. Potatoes galore, as you can imagine. Uh, still got loads of potatoes that we planted. Um, I think from my guy, oh, rhubarb, still loads and loads and loads of rhubarb coming through. Um, I know most people say you shouldn't pick rhubarb this late in the year, but I just dry them and they, yeah, make it a really nice chewy. I kind of dry them and put some salt, black salt and chili powder uh, as I sun dry them. And so they dry and they shrivel up and they really pack in this flavor. And uh, so it becomes like a nice chewy stick, um, which is really delicious. Uh, not from my house, but as we're doing wild food foraging, we found loads of um, agapodium, so ground elder. We found lots of the, the dog rose is starting to ripen. Uh, so we're picking dog rose, the rosa ragosa. Ragosa rose is, is fully, 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 fully ripe, and that's really an amazing harvest right now. The slows are kind of okay they're yeah a little bit longer i think before we properly harvest those then there is we pick loads of um oregon grape mahonia and we pick loads of berberis darwinii which seems to be a really fashionable uh park plant at the moment uh so many of the the more up-to-date parks seem to have uh berberis darwinii growing in it um and what about hawthorn? hawthorn yeah loads and loads and loads of hawthorn that's fully 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 ripe as well what what do you do with that um mahonia darwinii then okay i kind of dry them and then they go a little bit more sweet and a little bit more palatable and then you just munch them um i have made a so when i made like some uh, vinegar from banana, banana vinegar. Uh, the pulp that was left over from there, I kind of, I had some oats that someone left behind. So I kind of made a kind of biscuit, an oat biscuit with the banana pulp, the berberis, the mahonia, and yeah, I think that was it. I don't think I added any other sweetness or anything. It was, I, I've never made biscuits ever in my life never and this is the first time and the first few days it was really nice but then i left it for about a week and it was like a brick so it was kind of yeah get a hammer chisel bit off to kind of get through it but anyway it was worth an experiment susan i think you can do vinegar as uh -huh. well with mahonia uh-huh yeah yeah i think sean was saying that he's made vinegar from them before because he collected a lot from parts there's tons, tons, mm. tons, and you know, yeah, no one ever really eats them, but yeah, good one. Susan, you have your hand yeah, up. You reminded me of all the things I didn't mention with harvesting, but one thing I've tried this year was the fuchsia berries. And they're actually mm. really delicious and they're sort of very quite sweet, but then have that peppery aftertaste. <laughs> and if you get it a little bit too early, it's really horrible. <laughs> no, but when they're sort of right and squashy, I, I sort of, wow, I thought they're, they're quite nice. Because yeah. They're sort of savory dishes, really. So I stuck them in some savory dishes. And yeah. And as you say, they, they have a little bit of a peppery kick it's at the end. It's a kick afterwards, yeah. 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 Fuchsia or fuchsia or however you're supposed to pronounce that. Wonderful. Maybe I said it wrong. <laughs> It's a German. I, I was corrected by a German and told how to say it properly, but I don't remember how to say it properly now. No. I was, I was just corrected because in English we say fuchsia and oh no, that's fuchsia or something like that. Anyway, we call it fuchsia. <laughs> so, anyone else? Um, or should we do a, a kind of check out 
Oh, Vincent. Yeah. So. Just a few of the things that Ian didn't mention, because she's focusing on the seed, because she has a, a course on Saturday. She will teach to a dozen of people how to save seeds and reuse them. Uh, so we have also harvested on our in our place uh, some watermelons, some big ones, um, blackberries, and also our first seven almonds <laughs> from the almond tree we've planted last uh, last um, winter. And they are quite good actually. So hopefully we'll have plenty uh, next year. Um, not in our place, but in the the um, community garden where we go. Uh, we've collected lots of uh, apples, like hundreds of kilograms, and uh, we went uh, like one week or two weeks ago, uh, pressing some uh, apple juice, like 150 liters. So it was quite an interesting day because we, we were taught how to do it. And um, probably that's in the next months, we'll be able to do it in our community garden. So for the next year, it will be nice. And we have also some harvest uh, that should come soon. Uh, I've made some experimentations and planted peanuts. So I'll see if it works or not. Uh, it's also about time to collect um, pepino. I don't know if you know that fruit. It's a uh, Latin name is Solanum Motum. It's like a pear melon. Uh, it looks like uh, like uh, small melons and uh, tastes like, I'd, 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 yeah, like pear melon mixed, and uh, it's really tasty. Can you maybe type the name because your connection we'll... is kind of coming and going. Yeah. Uh, I oh. didn't quite catch the name. Yeah, I will. Uh, Scientific name. Solanum muricatu. Yeah, yeah, I will. And finally, the next one will be sweet potatoes that we have also planted last year and. Uh, uh, this 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 spring and that we'll be able to collect uh, very soon, and that's it. Wow! Nice. So I'm much. Also looking forward to the sweet potato harvest. Yeah. Got. Yeah. What colors are you growing? We're growing orange and purple ones this year. Uh, purples and orange, yes. Many mm -hmm. purple ones. Uh huh. And I think Marta is also growing. Both kinds. I'm still excited to try a recipe mm. she shared for the purple sweet potato. Yeah. So I want to share one thing before we go into the checkout that I'm really, really happy from our garden this year that we have like so many pears. Um, we've had so many years of like late autumn frosts, and last year we had almost no pears. We had We've got so many trees and we had like two two pairs as fruit. Um, and this year it's been really exciting because we've been grafting a lot of, we've been collecting loads of different kinds and grafting them onto the wild pears that we have, the kinds that give these kind of like very small, very astringent fruits. And this year we finally got to see like what we actually did because we have kinds which are like, you know, from Uncle Ivan in the next village, from this guy, from that guy, we don't really know what they are. They're just like, yeah, this is great. Or we kind of took a cutting because it was delicious, but we really forgot what it was. Um, and we also had some from uh, Martin Crawford. So we've got like these ones, which are really nice from him, which are like kind of a bit squatter. And then we've got like all these different like tall kinds as well. We've got like very nice kind of, um, assortment of all kinds of different pears so that's been really exciting to try them and also a lot of apples as well um so yeah thinking of new things to do with apples we've been making vinegar and making some spicy chutneys and making crumbles and yeah we've still got loads and loads dry of them. apples yeah dry them is also possible spicy dried sweet and spicy dried apples Ooh, fantastic Oh, that's a nice idea, actually. So what it's do on you my got? YouTube. I've got a little video oh, okay. on I'll go on your YouTube. So with chili, ooh, and exciting. Yesterday, we harvested our first ripe Scotch bonnet chili, which Chris has been waiting all summer for. <laughs> Sadly, they're so delicious that the caterpillars have been, like, boring into them when they're green and eating all the seeds. 
you just find these like rotting shells with no seeds but they're it's proof that they're really delicious and everything in the garden all the caterpillars are going to the scotch bonnet so we we finally got one and <laughs> yeah and they really really look delicious so hopefully we'll get some more before the end of the the growing season cool but yeah, yeah i i do i am actually growing some chilies as well what yeah. some of those good normal chilies we catch? Just normal, those ordinary, like, simple, normal plain, chilies. simple, you know, like everyday chilies. Nothing fancy. Yeah. No fancy, schmancy, funky, wonky stuff. <laughs> just nice, simple, plain, ordinary, day to day, nice chilies. <laughs> Rakesh is always giving me, he's always giving me shit for the kind of chilies I'm growing. He's like, what are these chilies? Haven't you got any normal chilies? These Bulgarian chilies. Like, what's that? <laughs> It was once, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it became a but, running but, joke. But we've made it into a running joke for the last 10 years, so somehow. <laughs> yeah. Chili freaks and our, and our jokes about chilies. What can we do? Okay, lovely. So, yeah, maybe in the last 10 minutes we can have a checkout. Um, I'll stop the recording there mm -hmm. so we can then do our checkout.